Hi everyone, welcome to Park It! Theme Parks Edition. Today I'm going to tell you how to purchase your Disneyland tickets through the Disneyland app. If you want more information on how to maximize your Disneyland experiences, please hit the subscribe button so that I can help you out. Before we get started, there's a couple things you're going to need to make this process easier. Number one, create an account with Disney or know your login information. This will come in handy because in order to purchase tickets, you have to sign into your Disney account. Number two, save your credit card to your Disney profile. This will help expedite the checkout process when you come to pay. Number three, know the names of everyone you're purchasing tickets for. This is because you will have to assign tickets to everybody and you will need their full names. And number four, don't forget to pause the video if you need more time looking at a specific screen. Step one is to make sure you have the Disneyland app. Go ahead and open it up. To get started with purchasing your tickets on the app, or to pretty much get started with anything you want to do on the app, you always tap the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and do so now. When you see this menu pop up, go ahead and tap Buy Tickets and Annual Passports. Next, tap on the arrow next to Theme Park Tickets. If you are lucky enough to be purchasing an annual passport, go ahead and tap the arrow next to Annual Passports. Now you are going to select the number of days you plan to visit the park. Next, you will need to specify which day you are going. You can either select today or you can pick a future date. Next, you will choose the number of tickets. Make sure to choose the correct ticket for the correct age group. The next step will be to decide if you want to visit one park or two parks in one day. If you want to visit just one park, go ahead and purchase a one park pass. You will then need to decide if you want to have a max pass or if you want a ticket without a max pass. If you are entering the park after 11 a.m., I wouldn't encourage you to get a max pass because a lot of the fast passes will be gone by the time you enter the park. If you are going to get there first thing in the morning, definitely get a max pass. If you don't know what a max pass is, please watch my video called Disney Max Pass Explained in 5 Minutes. You can click the link in the upper right hand corner or there's a link in the description. Next, you will need to sign into your Disney account. If you don't have one, you can go to the Disney website and click the drop down menu and choose the option that says Create or Log in to Account. Once you are logged in, the next step will be to assign tickets to everybody in your group. You will need to know everyone's names. My payment method was already on file, so all I had to do was enter the security code for my credit card. If your credit card is not on file, you will probably have to enter it at this point. Make sure to click the box that says you have read and agree to the terms and conditions. Then tap Purchase. This is how your ticket will appear once you have completed your purchase. I would take a screenshot of this, and then when you go to the main gate, you can scan it and they will give you a paper park entrance ticket that you will need to keep track of as well. Keeping track of the paper park entrance ticket is very important because when you book fast passes through your app and your phone has a problem, you can still access your fast passes with that paper park ticket, so please don't lose it. After you've purchased your ticket, an email confirmation will be sent to you. It will be whatever email you used to sign into your Disney account. Now that you've purchased your ticket, you just have one final step left. Go into the app, click the plus sign at the bottom of the screen, kind of like we did in the beginning, and look under Tickets and Passes. Then the app will prompt you to link your ticket to the app. This is very important. Don't forget to do this. Once you've completed this final step and linked your pass to the app, you are all set to enter the Disneyland main gate. I hope you have a wonderful time. Did you find this video helpful? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you did find it helpful, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel so that I can help you maximize your Disneyland experiences. Thank you so much for visiting Park It! Theme Parks Edition and I hope you have a great day.